Hello, good morning, everybody. Hope you are fantastic, awesome, and amazing. Welcome to the Coffee Run Live for our Monday morning public holiday edition. So I thought that just it would be just a really quick run. I'm out very obviously walking this morning. Um, I woke up really freaking grumpy. It's so funny. Um, so I I really try try hard not to eat sugar and processed foods. I don't try hard, it's just a part of my world these days. But last night, oh my God, I ate so many lollies and the sugar makes me grumpy. It's a really, well, it's an interesting choice for a start, which that's, that's a whole other conversation. But um, in terms of it's an interesting choice that I allow it to make me grumpy. Um, but it was also an interesting choice because I know often how it's actually going to impact me and affect me. So I thought, hey, Shan, good morning. Happy Monday. Is it a public holiday there? I don't know what the, um, I'm, not, I'm not in tune with the, with the public holidays around the country. It's like a really dodgy wharf. I'm just going to come over here and sit and not try and walk breathlessly. I'm just going to show you a little bit about where we are today. I'm just walking along the river, so I've just been walking up through here. Flies. Walking up through here, and I caught this little wharf. So I thought I'd just come and sit and chippa jabber. Isn't the, like this part of the river? We're actually really, really lucky. This part of the river is really wide. So you know how last week I had, hopefully it's not too windy, um, had clients up here and we were houseboating. Um, last week thank god because the turning circles on these houseboats are really really terrible so pretty e it is really really gorgeous like what it's not the ocean but you know how it's water like look at all the glimmering it's pretty delightful so what i thought oh someone else just walked on this thing and it starts wobbling that's not that doesn't inspire confidence <laughs> So what I thought I would just chat with you guys about today is that the things that are just seemingly so obvious to other people are really not obvious always to ourselves. So the, the example, the very ridiculous, and it's a ridiculous example that I've got for you today. Um, so we had a, a, I'm involved in our, well, I'm actually now the, apparently the president of our roller derby league, which is really exciting. Um, but we had a, bar a Bunnings barbecue yesterday and we have to have lots of onions. So on, on Saturday, I spent a whole bunch of time cutting onions, cutting onions, cutting onions, and then posted a photo about it because, you know, hashtag lifestyle and, you know, it gives you guys a bit of an insight into stuff. And, you know, I just thought it was wildly hilarious that I was wearing goggles to cut onions. And, and the kids thought it was funny and whatever. So the the thing that was interesting about that though was that all of these people, like some of you, posted, messaged, commented, saying that you can buy pre-cut onions. Now, I don't think that I am a dumb human. <laughs> like I actually like to think that I'm really quite intelligent and quite smart. Yeah, I had no idea that this was even a thing. I did not know that you could buy pre-chopped onions. I didn't know that you could buy pre-sliced onions. I had no clue. So I have had my eyes watering ridiculously for like for the whole day. Then we went and got a massage. My hands still smell like freaking onions. It is, yeah, I thought it was ridiculously hilarious. But I suppose that what what I was thinking about with that, because there's a there's a business lesson in everything, right? Is that oftentimes there are things that we just don't even that just don't even cross our mind, that we just don't even think about, that are wildly obvious to somebody else, and it just takes someone else pointing it out for us to go, oh yeah, duh, of course, that makes complete and total sense. So I thought that I would share that with you. I think the other thing that, that's been uh, just completely different um, on a completely different topic, that something that's been really interesting, a lot of you have commented and messaged actually, and, and clients of mine have, have messaged me as well about the, the conversation that we had last week about procrastination. And it got me thinking a little bit more because I think that, that the whole procrastination thing to me is like, it, it's almost, when I'm procrastinating, I feel like I'm missing that, that fire right that spark that you know bam kind of get out there and go do it and make all of the things happen feeling and I know that you guys know what I what I mean by that I'm just gonna get up and stop walking hang on a second and um I think that's part of the reason why 
um, you know, so many people just don't execute. You know, they're missing that fire, that drive, that spark, that thing, that that um, the sparkliness, the, the that fire in the belly that has so many people like lifting and going and doing the thing. And and I think we forget when we haven't felt that feeling for a while. I think we forget the the importance of it. And it's a bit like the you know the things that are obvious to somebody else and not the things that are obvious to you. So my advice for you today <laughs> is to find a way to create that fire, to create that drive, to create that spark, that zhuzh, um, that which is the technical term for it, that actually enables you to get out there and go promote your thing, put your free stuff out, do your sales calls, do the thing, you know, sign up for the thing, press go on that ad. Hi. And, and you've just got to... Let go of the fucking outcome, you guys. You know, so often, and I've been guilty of this. It's like, oh, I don't want to go and do this thing because, you know, I don't know if it's going to work and I don't want to go and spend the money on the thing and, uh, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, that's that thinking is exactly the thing that keeps us stuck safe <laughs> and living in the world of overwhelm and procrastination because we just don't know um, what's actually going to happen. So get out there, go do some stuff, be awesome, and remember that the world is ready. For your brand of awesomeness. Pull the trigger, make it happen. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.